Welcome. In a previous video, I looked at some composite capture devices. And in that video, I determined that this Muso uh, composite HDMI adapter uh, paired up with an Elgato HD uh, game capture was my best option. So I made that video and then I made a video on how to capture video on an Apple II. Um, I'll put a link in the description of those videos, but in this video I want to do a similar video with the NES. So my NES wasn't working when I made the first video, uh, but I've repaired it. I made a video on repairing it. I'll put that link in the description. And I'll also put a link in the description to these here, and if you buy them using my Amazon affiliate link, it helps me out, but doesn't cost you anything extra. So the setup we have here is I have a 2012 MacBook Pro running uh, Elgato Game Capture, and that's plugged in with USB here. And then I have the output of the NES here. This is the composite and this is the audio. And that's plugged into this uh, Muso adapter. Now this only has uh, one channel of audio out. It's mono. So I put that through a splitter here. If you don't have a splitter, you could just record one channel and then uh, double it up in software. So I put that to a splitter for the right and left channel. So here I have my composite and my mono channel split up and then this is also plugged in uh, with USB I plug that into the computer and there's a switch on the side that says 720p I have that to set to 720p um, I've tried 720p and 1080p and they look pretty much the same so might as well go with the smaller uh, file size um, that goes to the HDMI out and that goes to the HDMI in of the game capture and then the HDMI out goes to the monitor so there's a little delay when you're recording this, so it helps to have a monitor. There might even be a delay in the monitor. Um, this is the HD60. Now they have the HD60S, and I'll put a link of the HD60S in the um, description. That's supposed to have uh, less latency than this one. So if we go to the computer here, on the right side, we want to make sure we have capture selected. And then if we go to these gears here, let me switch hands. If you go to the gears here, I have input device is other, and then input is HDMI. I have the color range is standard, profile is HD20, and I have this slid up to best. I'm not sure what that affects, but I have crop set to none, and then I have these two at the bottom unchecked. And I have a microphone here plugged in to record. Oops. <laughs> I have this, uh, these headphones with a microphone plugged in, and if I want to record commentary, I can do that by selecting this. So if it's dim, it's not selected, and then like that, it's selected. And then if I go here to record, I'll hit that, and now it's recording. So I can turn the NES on, and you'll see here, you can tell the latency here. I'll hit start on this game, and you can see that is a little bit slower. And there the game comes up. So, so that's the basics of capturing with an NES. And at the end of this video, I'll um, I'll play like the first level of this recorded, so you can you know get a good sample of what this looks like. Uh, but if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.